The episode finale of Second Chances High School, Return of a Gangster, opens with Chiel Sung unexpectedly paying Yi Hien's mother a visit in the hospital. Although Yi Hien is asleep, he speaks briefly with his mother. When she learns what her son has been through in an attempt to keep the forte together, she is astounded. Chiel Sung, who claims not to even know a man by that name, is likewise interested in finding out if Yi Hien is Dip Pal's son. Chiel Sung begs Yi Hien's mother to organize her belongings and watch out for her kid before she loses him before departing. What takes place during the hearing? Jamin enters and betrays his pals, turning everything upside down. All of the videos the boys shot while harassing kids are on the tablet that he takes from them. A brawl breaks out, and Myung Hyun is shocked to see Sekyung become involved as well. The youths are taken into custody by the prosecution based on Jamin's confession and the digital proof. Yi Hyun is upset because Jamin passed up the opportunity to go. Jamin, on the other hand, clarifies that if Yi Hyun went to Juvie, he was unable to escape alone. The other lads decline to apologize as they are led to Juvie, but Jamin genuinely does. Even the ghost of the actual Yi Hien appears to him, and he sobs an apology. What takes place following the hearing? When Yi Hien arrives at the hospital in a hurry, John Chiol, Dong Su, and Chiel Sung are there to greet him. Chiel Sung requests to talk to him alone as his mother is being released from the hospital. The elderly sage quickly fits everything together and recognizes Dip Pal. Upon realizing that he will lose his man once more, he breaks down in tears. Yi Hien also comes clean about his true identity, saying that he is happy Chiel Sung recognizes his efforts to safeguard the youngster and gives him credit for them. Following a heartfelt reunion and farewell, Chiel Sung requests that his troops remain behind to assist Dip Pal. Dong Su begins to wonder if Yi Hien is who he claims to be. But not long after letting his mother go, Yi Hien has a revelation about where to find his father and Mi Kyung. He invites Jan Chiol and Dong Su to assist him in finding them. What is the fate of Mi Kyung? As Chairman Bei and Mi Kyung return from an international convention, Yi Hien and his men locate them. Yi Hien pulls Mi Kyung back while she tries to flee. He requests a private meeting and tells his mother and him all that Mi Kyung has done to them. The chairman is unimpressed with Mi Kyung's extracurricular activities and is concerned about the potential consequences for the company should the press uncover her whereabouts. However, Yi Hien's bravery in retaliating and punishing Mi Kyung impresses him. He offers to acknowledge Yi Hien as his official son, but Yi Hien declines. He informs his father that he is unfit to be a father because he has no experience with parenting or raising children. Regarding Mi Kyung, the chairman deserts her. What transpires between Yi Hien and Se Kyung? Once everyone has calmed down, Yi Hien quietly begins restoring order. He acknowledges that the true Yi Hien has returned and makes a commitment to solve things before departing. From now on, we shall refer to the individual as Dip Pal and the spirit as Yi Hien. To begin with, Dip Pal makes sure Jae Hoon apologizes to Se Kyung. He also sees to it that Yi Hien's mother is getting better and staying on course. He exhorts her to go out and find a decent man. He agrees that it's a great idea for her to pursue acting again and pledges to help her. Regarding Sekyung, Dip Pal finds it difficult to bid him farewell and speak the truth. Sekyung is already suspicious that Yaihan has been taken over by the spirit of an elderly man. Yi Hien is informed by Dip Pal that it might be best if Sekyung never learns the truth. Thankfully, Jae Hoon says that Yi Hien stated he was going shortly after apologizing. Sekyung finds Dip Pal right away and demands the truth from him. He is shown to the mausoleum by Dip Pal, who reveals everything to him. At last, Sekyung is able to express regret to the spirit of the actual Yi Hien. He clarifies that he never ought to have turned away from him when he cries out for assistance or accused him of being the target of bullying. He also discusses how he felt powerless as he was unable to save himself. After listening, Yi Hien offers his forgiveness. 
Does Duke Pal bid his buddies farewell? Dongsu confronts Duke PLA as they are drinking and John Chiol is sleeping after he has figured everything out. He gives his old master credit for being a capable leader. Duke Pal responds by expressing gratitude for his love, support, and loyalty. After bidding farewell, Duke Pal begins to accept his demise. How does High School Gangster Return conclude? Following a week of finalizing matters and guaranteeing Ihean will return to a secure setting, Duk Pal prepares to bid farewell. Ihean, however, decides to pass on to the next life since he is too worn out to continue living. The youngster says he has endured enough suffering and is content to go after realizing that Duk Pal tried his hardest to save him, despite Duk Pal's best efforts to persuade him otherwise. He declares that Duke Pal is the only person who is deserving of living in his body before he enters the bright light and passes away. Duke Pal leaves high school and returns to life as Ihean. At the conclusion of the show, Sekyung and Duke Pal are both enrolled at universities. The Review of the Episode Sadly, it is time to bid farewell to the cherished characters that have won our hearts over the last four weeks. The show has taught us valuable life lessons in addition to a great spot and flawless performance. It was good to see Jamin own his error and take the punishment lightly. It just goes to demonstrate how much he's changed since our initial meeting. He found Duke Pell to be a positive role model who demonstrated that adults can facilitate children's learning. We witnessed Duke Pell's constant efforts to assist Lee Hien's mother, the gang, and Se Kyung, demonstrating the true responsibility of an adult. We shall miss him, as he has been an inspiration. Although I'm happy he has another opportunity at life, I also feel bad for Lee Hien. Life dealt him too many lemons at once, and he became weary of struggling to make it through. It was both heartwarming and depressing in the scene where he decided to step into the bright light. At such a young age, he thought he had experienced enough. He deserves happiness, so I hope he can find it in the afterlife. We are also glad that Sekyung was able to defend himself and what was right. Myung Hyun should be proud of the young, extraordinary man that Sekyung became if he had not been so blinded by his misguided wrath. That's it, folks. Tell us about your best episodes moments in the comments below. Did you find the show entertaining? Which sequence was your favorite, and did you think the finale worked out well? 